Hey everyone, it is a nice beautiful day in Vancouver, BC. We are sort of at the end of summer. It's gonna be pretty quick until I start wearing these for fall. So I wanted to do an update on these every six months and that obviously didn't happen. So we're actually at the one year mark on these. So I wanted to actually do an update. I wanted to do an update to show a gradual, um, how these sort of fade gradually. So I wanted to do an update every six months but here we are at the one year mark, given there wasn't much to show after the six month mark anyway. So very first of all, um, just a couple specs on these. Uh, these are the Elephant XX, as I said, I got these in the Weird Guy fit. Um, I thought that that fit was the best for me and these are 2% stretch and, and they are in a size 32. Uh, a couple points on these, I did get these hemmed down um, an inch and a half so I think these are 32 and a half inches cut down from 34 I might be wrong though maybe uh, look at my other video I might have gotten them hemmed down to 33 but I also got these tapered in half an inch and the reason is is that I felt that um, the weird guy fit uh, 7.75 looked a little bit too much like a straight fit so I decided to actually get these hemmed down, or not hemmed down, but tapered to seven and a quarter. So you'll see when I try these on, I actually like the way that that looks a lot more. But here it is, I'll uh, update you guys on the fades, what I like about these and what I don't. There's very few things that I don't like about these because they're really excellent jeans. So when these jeans first came out, um, just the whole concept of making a very space gray type of jean for the, uh, for the weft, and what they were going after on this jean was they're trying to make a very contemporary almost like metallic type of um, raw denim and I just thought that was so unique that I just couldn't miss out and then as well I kind of wanted to go back to stretch just because um, I don't know just a personal preference I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of the a little bit of the the higher con contrast fading you might get with 100% cotton for just that little bit of extra comfort. So a couple of real cool points um, that I pointed out in my first video. One, the buttons and the hardware are burnished silver, which is excellent. So that means they're always, as far as I know, they should always look like this for the life of the jean, which is pretty cool. Um, when I first got these jeans, they were so indigo-y, like the indigo was so deep in them, they almost looked like violet in light. So I was really unsure of how they were gonna fade, but just look at here on the pocket here. This is a pretty good idea of, of, uh, of what we're sort of starting to look at right here in terms of the fades. And just that quality of blue right there, I'm hoping that my camera is catching this, this quality of blue in here um, with the contrast is probably what I like the most about them. I mean, these are pretty unique jeans and the fades are gonna be pretty unique. Um, so that's probably one of the things that I like the most about these jeans. And second is just the comfort. The comfort is pretty cool. Okay, so here's on my left leg. I get quite a bit of, uh, I get quite a bit of uh, fading right in here because my leg is crooked when I drive. I have to say this is probably the best look of what uh, these jeans are gonna look like when they're fully faded in. But look at this right here. This is just, that's just a thing of beauty right here, this, this high contrast part here. The leather patch uh is look, look how pliable this thing is now it's a thick vegetable tan patch and this thing was like this thing was like wood when uh i first bought it but now just look at the patina on that patch now i have hit this with obanoff's um leather oil a couple times so but i'm really happy with just how pliable this has sort of turned out to be and this is going to get even better I've seen other pics of people that have had elephant uh, jeans with this thick veg, uh, veg sand patch and it looks like over time that this design here almost totally goes away once the leather actually darkens in and then it just looks like just you know a, a slab of leather a vegetable tan leather so I'm, I'm looking forward to that here's a look at the back of the knee um, you can see just a couple small honeycombs coming in and then I cold wash these once and then after I cold wash them, I guess it was just the way that they got washed and everything in the washer gets so tangled up. But 
I had these uh, these light little marbleized type of fades come in. Um, this will all eventually blend in once um, once the gene generally fades a bit more. But I really hope my camera is catching this. But there's supposed to be metallic uh, glitter on the red ID. It is the uh, metallic space uh, gray type of theme on these jeans. But I don't know if my camera's catching that, but that's actually pretty glittery. It's a pretty cool concept for a jean is to try to uh, make a, a really contemporary type of jean. Um, these do bleed off on sneakers. So now that I've got this faded in around that, um, around the leg opening, it's not bleeding onto my sneakers quite as bad, but when I first got these, they were bleeding onto the sneakers quite a bit, obviously, because um, it's a lot of indigo. indigo I've always liked the simplicity of naked and famous pockets. I'll just show a bit of a wide shot here. Just really plain, simple. There's no designs. There's no small patches. Uh, they just decide to put a bit of a branding in other areas, obviously, but they always keep the pockets pretty nice and simple. And they're big and deep pockets as well, so if you want to keep phones and whatnot in them, that's um, there's no issue with fitting anything in your pocket. This was probably the first point to fade here was the back uh, belt loop. Uh, my one small complaint I mean, one of my only complaints about these jeans is I felt that for the Elephant series, they could have added raised belt loops. Um, I mean, it's just a, such a small thing that would have given it more of that premium detail. But as far as I know, I think it's just, I think it might just be the MIJ jeans that have the raised belt loops, but it's just such a small thing that I, I think that um, I would like to see raised belt loops on these ones. A bit of a closer look of the weft in the light here. A nice space gray that'll that obviously transfers to the outside once it gets a bit more worn here's the lettering that's kind of this really cool pulp fiction it kind of looks like an old movie poster or like an old pulp fiction book kind of uh, style All right so this is one cold wash and that was after six months and roughly about I think I was up to about 90 wears by the, by the time I cold washed them after six months and I put on about another 30 or 20 wears since then. So I'm about up to between maybe 100 or 110 wears on these. Um, I usually wash my jeans after six months just to get some of the starch out. And I think honestly they fade so much better after the first cold wash um, because it just allows a bit of moisture to get in and activate that indigo a little bit and then takes the starch out. But let me know what you think about the tapering or how these sort of look because I did get them a half inch in on each leg tapered in and that might not seem like a lot but that's actually one full inch in terms of um, circumference so um, I definitely noticed a huge difference but so that is the one year update of my naked and famous elephant XS um, when I saw these, I mean, I rarely say I need to have a pair of raw denim, but when I saw these come out, I said to myself, I need to have these jeans. And lo and behold, they sold out pretty fast in the Weird Guy, Super Guy, and True Guy. Or I think they made them in the True Guy. So these were ones that I definitely had to have. I like the Grand Drells or Grand Dells or the Elephants 11 or whatever they're called. And I think the Elephant 12s are cool, but um, these ones really I spoke to me. I've gotten to really like contemporary looking clothes over the time. Like if I'm gonna buy raw denim, I'm starting to not like, or I'm starting to go away from more of that vintage type of raw denim look. And I wanna get raw denim that looks a bit nicer with like a pair of sneakers or a pair of Air Maxes or what, what you know, whatever the case is. And I thought these perfectly fit the bill as a very contemporary um, looking pair of jeans. So if you can find these now in the secondhand market or if they pop up anywhere, definitely, I would definitely recommend these. But as far as I saw on Tate and Yoko, they're all sold out and they seem to be all sold out and everywhere else. So um, hope you guys like the review of these and I've got some other reviews and I'll be sure to update these a bit more frequently. So thanks for watching.